guys uh, on this video I'm gonna show you how to run this entire architecture on, uh, on your laptop okay uh, the only thing that you're gonna need um, in order to run this entire complex architecture it's docker uh, you don't need to care about install any of those uh, those technology here okay so down here I describe every step that you need to do so the first thing of course is it's clone this project once you have cloned it uh, you need to open docker composer and change this uh, variable value okay so I have it here already so you need to go here and change for your local uh, IP on my case I can see it here and I've changed it here so next step it's copy uh, this maven package and build the project so you just copy it and put it here I've done it already this take a while so I'm gonna skip this, this step uh, next step is create this uh, lambda networking Let's do it here so I already have it I don't need it but in your case you create it then we fire up the whole architecture that you have in the composer okay let's have just a quick look how is our composer so we have Zookeeper, we have Kafka, we have Cassandra, we have Spark, uh, the master because uh, Spark uh, work in, in a master and workers so you can build uh, as many as you want uh, workers for your cluster uh, in our case here we are using just one worker so you have a master and a worker and we have this is, is for Hadoop so we are using Hadoop HDFS so this is the name node and data node so both that is needed in order to to run HDFS okay uh, and that's it so let's fire up and docker composer up so this is going to take a while because this is start all services and this is just magic, you don't need to care about install so many softwares and everything set up so I, I spend a lot of time to in order to make all these things talk to each other's different versions and everything so you're getting that for free so you need to wait for this thing Get it all servers up and running Let's see when you have this done we are gonna just run project orchestrate and so let's have a look what is this project the orchestrate So basically it's configuring the um, Cassandra with the schema, create the topics for Kafka, and installing something that it's needed for Spark, also configuring the HDFS. And oh, let's see if it is everything is running already. Still running. Mm. It's a while because it's many says they have to set up everything and connect to each other. And in the meantime you can go to the Spark Master uh, and see if it is already Spark, it's up and running, it's ever found the worker. Looks like this is still, still looking. Uh, yeah, so Spark is running, so you can see there is a worker here. And so no running application.
Sou Cassandra. When you are waiting, they take longer. I never realize how long this takes. Maybe something went wrong. Success for submit transcripts, Kafka. Okay. Cassandra. Yeah, I think, yeah, you have everything running. So yeah, it's in Cassandra listening report. So we then are ready to run the second script. So yeah, I already have the stable running. In my case here, everything just it's already created. It's run. This is basically sending uh, our jar with the processor that it's basically the Java and Spark um, code to the cluster. Okay. This it's basically sending to Spark cluster that it's running inside the Docker. And let me just show why this is gonna take a while as well. Let me just show the Docker service is running here. So then you have the Spark master that I just sent, and uh, you had worker. And both it's connected, right? This is the cluster of Spark. Spark distribute the yeah. You you have a look at what it's Spark it is. I'm gonna get a better understanding of the steps. And I think you are fine to go to the next. Thing. Here we we are running. Uh, we are producing fake IoT data, so basically we don't have, of course, the those IoT sending data to Kafka. So you're gonna um, mock those data, and you can do this. Here. So basically, you are uh, you are sending to Kafka those data here. Look, vehicle and ID speed timestamp full so yeah mocking this data and then you're gonna run our ooh, dashboard
yeah, it's quite heavy to have everything running. Uh, my laptop is not really powerful, so it's programmable to have everything running. Spark processing soon as well. So yeah, we start to see direct coming. Yeah, there you go. Everything running. You can see the data that is already coming through the socket. So again, the process here is we are producing fake data and sending to Kafka. Kafka is sending to Spark streaming that it's saving in Hadoop. And at the same time, we are producing a report here and storing in the Cassandra and spring uh, boot application is getting this data from cassandra every well, one every minute every second i think and sending to uh, a web application through socket and uh, later in the next video i'm going to show how to run this uh, spark uh, batch processing and getting this data from uh, so from hadoop but for now we can see those data in hadoop Ready? So, um, let's see. You can access Hadoop cluster here as well. You already seen from Jesus. This is a Hadoop uh, interface where you can see the digital repository. Uh, this is quite bad, don't show this loading, but they take a while here. Look like there is nothing, but it's loading. Struggling, help me stop this guy right here. Just test the guy. So, see if it is. Come on. Yeah. And you have Lambda architecture. We are using Parky, and here it is our data. You can see here. So you can see that it's data is flowing and storing Cassandra and showing here in our dashboard, and it's the same story here. Next video, we're gonna look at this part and uh, the uh, batch processing that is getting from Hadoop HDFS. And yeah, I think that's it. So it's everything you need to know to start um, playing with big data and lambda architecture.